हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन विथ ए न्यू टॉपिक द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज मोड्स ऑफ सिलोजिम एंड जनरल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल्स इन रूल्स ऑफ सिलोजिम वी मस्ट स्टडी जनरल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल्स स्पेशल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल्स एंड एरिस्टोटल डिक्टम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोड्स ऑफ सिलोजिम एंड टेन जनरल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल्स इन द लास्ट क्लास I have already discussed syllogism, categorical syllogism, nature, and characteristic of syllogism structure, and structure of syllogism. Today, my topic modes of syllogism. What is the modes? Modes of syllogism is determined by the quality and quantity of two premises or three proposition. That means modes of syllogism is determined the quality and quantity from premises or three proposition. How is it possible? I am showing an example. Let's see. According to the quality and the quantity, the propositions are classified into four. This is A proposition, E proposition, and I proposition and O proposition. A proposition is universal affirmative. E proposition. universal negative i proposition particular affirmative and o proposition particular negative a proposition is universal affirmative the structure of the proposition a is all s is p all s is p the structure of e proposition is no s is p then the structure of i proposition is some S is P. Then the structure of O proposition is some S is some S is not P. This is universal affirmative. This E proposition is universal negative, and I proposition is particular affirmative, and O proposition is particular negative. here we use uh, all and uh, no this is universal a and e propositional universal this is affirmative and this is universal negative here is the no is used no s is p is a universal negative proposition then for particular we use some and for negative we, we use not i proposition is a particular affirmative proposition that uh, structure of the proposition is some s is p then the structure of o proposition is particular negative proposition so the um, structure is some s is not p here not is negative and some is particular and here some is particular and it is affirmative proposition so a e i o is four type of proposition according to quality and quantity then what is the modes modes of syllogism here we must study what is the modes of syllogism here i will take an concrete example that all men are mortal all men are mortal is a universal affirmative proposition all kings are men all kings are men it is also a universal affirmative proposition therefore all kings are mortal here we use uh, this is an argument in this argument there are three proposition and uh, it is the major premise it is minor premise and it is conclusion and uh, um, the according to the quality and the quantity proposition are four type a e i o here the all men are mortal is the proposition of a 
यूनिवर्सल अफर्मेटिव ऑल किंग्स आर मैन इट इज ऑल्सो यूनिवर्सल अफर्मेटिव इट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रपोजिशन देन दे आर फोर इट इज द कंक्लूजन ऑल किंग्स आर मोटल सो इट इज ऑल्सो ए प्रपोजिशन सो द मूड्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज ए ए ए दिस इज द मूड्स so here the modes is modes is a a a a a is the modes this is for major premise this is for minor premise this is for conclusion so the modes of the syllogism is a a a next example here i have taken an another concrete example all parrot are biped animal no biped animal is a dog therefore no dog is a parrot here all parrot are biped animal is a universal affirmative proposition and no biped animal is a dog is a universal negative proposition that is e proposition and conclusion is no dog is a parrot is also e proposition and it is universal negative proposition so from this uh, the mood is determined how the it is a e e so the modes of this structure is a e e a for major premise e for minor premise and e for conclusion so a e e is the mode of this structure then the figure and valid modes there are four figure first figure second figure third figure and fourth figure and valid modes are a a a a a i e a i e a o a i i e i o this is for major premise this is for minor premise this is for conclusion like this these are the uh, valid modes and this this is four figures of syllogism then the general syllogistic rules what are the general syllogistic rule there are 10 general syllogistic rules of syllogism and uh, they are rule number 1 every syllogism must have three and only three terms pratyek syllogism re tinoti term use hoy thai that is uh, middle term major term and minor term second rule every syllogism must have three and only three proposition so syllogism re tinoti proposition use hoita hai tinoti proposition kono dui ti premise and last one is the conclusion rule number 3 the middle term must be distributed at least one middle term ti nischinta bhabare distribute heithibo rule number 4 an undistributed term of the premise cannot be distributed in the conclusion जो टर्म टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड हो नेमिस कनक्लूजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हम ना फ्रम टू नेगेटिव रूल नंबर फाइव फ्रम टू नेगेटिव प्रेमिस नो कनक्लूजन क्या भी ड्रन दुईट प्रेमिस जो नेगेट थे कनक्लूजन ड्रन हम ना दे रूल नंबर सिक्स If one premise be negative, the conclusion must be negative. जदि गोटे प्रेमिस नेगेट थी ताहले कंक्लूजन मस्ट बी नेगेटिव कंक्लूजन नेगेटिव हम रूल नंबर सेवेन इफ बोथ द प्रेमिस बी अफर्मेटिव द कंक्लूजन मस्ट बी अफर्मेटिव जदि दुईटा जाक प्रेमिस अफर्मेटिव हो कनक्लूजन निश्चित भाव में अफर्मेट हम रूल नंबर एट फ्रम टू पर्टिकुला प्रेमिसेस नो कनक्लूजन कैन वि ड्रन 
दुईट प्रेमिस् जदि पर्टिकुला कनक्लूजन कौन सी कनक्लूजन ड्रन हम ना रूल नंबर नाइन इफ वन अफ द प्रेमिस् पर्टिकुला द कनक्लूजन मस्ट भी पर्टिकुला जदि गोटे प्रेमिस् पर्टिकुला थोड़े कनक्लूजन पर्टिकुला हम इफ रूल नंबर टेन दिस् इज द लास्ट नंबर इफ द मेजर प्रेमिस् पर्टिकुला जदि मेजर प्रेमिस् पर्टिकुला थी एंड द माइनर प्रेमिस् नेगेट माइनर प्रेमिस् जदि नेगेट थी नो कनक्लूजन कैन बी ड्रन कौन सी कनक्लूजन ड्रन हम ना दिस् इज अल अबाउट द टेन जेनेल सिलोजिस्टिक रूल्स अफ सिलोजिम थैंक यू